Hello lasses and laddies, Uncle Hamish here again. This is SC Controller video number three. Uh, today we will be assigning and setting up a non-Steam controller, as you can see, uh, right here I have it. And uh, a few little things uh, sort of tangentially related to that about the system in general and other controllers. But mostly it'll be about setting this up. Uh, it's a relatively easy and painless process, and ever since the December 2008, sorry, 2017 uh, version of SC Controller, it has supported uh, other controllers apart from Steam Controller. Now, you see I've got the Steam Controller switched on here, and it's already registered over there. If I push the uh, pop-up button to get the on-screen display, you'll see I have uh, settings there. And, uh, yeah, I can use that to control the mouse, etc. So, we're just going to switch that to Xbox Control, leave it there. Okay. And put that aside for now. Well, as you can see, of course, the uh, the, the joystick I'm going to set up today is huge. It's an arcade stick. Nice big sturdy thing. A uh, nice solid steel shaft for micro switch uh, uh, jo controls. Uh, four micro switches on the joystick. And a huge array of buttons. Uh, we go to the SC Controller main menu here. We click on settings, and you'll see on the tabs across the top, there's controllers. Click on controllers. Now you'll see uh, it doesn't list any controllers at the moment. Steam controller is taken as, as red. You know, it's a given that you're going to have your Steam controller going through it. But other controllers you, you can add in. So I'm going to click register. And, oh, of course, uh, one of the things that would be best to do, plug the controller in. Let's do that again. <laughs> Refresh, there you go. So, now you can see this is my mouse, uh, which has uh, functions for outputting uh, as well. Uh, game controls and stuff as well, as does my keyboard. So ignore those for the moment. What we're interested in is this USB joystick here, which is this baby here. So, uh, now one thing that's worth pointing out is that the controls for, uh, I don't know what you call them, wizards or whatever they're called these days, are up the top here. Uh, so the back and next are there. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I, I, maybe Kozak will tell us one time. Uh, let's choose our joystick anyway and click next. So the next is up the top there. Click next. Uh, let's just bring that up here so we can see it better. And you'll see you get two options. You get uh, an option for what style are the sticks, and what are the labels on your buttons. Now we'll do the easy one first, labels on the buttons. I'm not sure why there's two sets of all these. Uh, might be to do with uh, options up here somewhere. I don't know. But let's just choose that one. So we, we've got, um, as you can see, PlayStation style. Oh, hang on, let's knock that over. PlayStation style uh, labeling on the buttons. Let's get that to focus. There we go. So we've got like an X, a circle. A uh, square, a triangle, and so forth, and everything else is marked L1, L2, L3 up there, R1, R2, and R3 up there, and select and start as you can see. Uh, don't worry about these two buttons here. These are these two buttons on the left are to do with the stick itself. Uh, they're nothing to do with what we're doing today. Uh, they are sort of hardware things. Okay, so uh, we're going to choose the the PlayStation style buttons. Obviously, because that's what we have, so that when we're configuring the, the controller, remember I said to you earlier, it would, it would matter to you what controller you chose uh, for what graphic it shows you to set them up. So we know which button we're assigning in relation to the controller we're using. Okay, let's just make sure that's in screen again. Right, uh, and then we've got a bit more of a tough choice because this isn't an, a more modern analog controller, it's just a single one. So we have two choices that suit this. Now, obviously, we don't have analog sticks, so we can ignore the first two, which is the PlayStation style and Xbox style controllers. We've got single stick, which I'll show you, which is um, represented by an old style PlayStation controller. I think that's the old one anyway. Um, I'll just show you something actually just out of interest. I'll show you, you can change these so if you have a generic stick and it has it's marked with one two three four or whatever a b c d then you've got those options so it's not it's not fixed uh in relation to the uh the controller it's just for your for your uh, convenience now ah right that, i just noticed there's different ways that 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 lays out differently so let's ah it does change some of the other buttons there you go so you can see what the labeling does, it does change some of these buttons as well. So 
It's basically just to match it up as close as possible to the physical controller you're using so it makes it uh, easier to see what you're assigning to each thing. So anyway, that aside, let's see. So we've got single stick, which is the PlayStation style controller, as you can see. We have got four face buttons, which is these four. We've got these buttons here, presumably would uh, map to those. And we have two controllers, sorry, two shoulder buttons on each one as well as the four-way pad. Now, the other option is NES SNES tile controller. So if we click that, we'll see that. Now, that's only got one set of shoulder buttons on each side, single D-pad, and the other controls are the same. So we're going to go with, whoops, single stick controller. So that's our option. Now, uh, I'm going to click Next. Right, and now it's popped up the, the, the everything we've chosen has now been assigned to this. And as you can see, it has options for all these controls, as well as that one's popping up in red, says it's not assigned. So it thinks it's detected all the rest, it thinks, and uh, we will find that out in a second. So let's try moving the joystick. No, nope, nothing there, and that's fine. But these should be pre-assigned, so let's try X, there we go, circle, triangle, and square. So those are all assigned, we don't need to do anything with them. Uh, the, I don't know, pause and play or whatever these are meant to be. So let's select, select and start. Yep, they work fine. So that's 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 just what I would have assigned for that. Now, it's worth noting that this is not the same as the assignment on the... Oh, I can't show you it. <laughs> not the same as the assignment on the controller setup. This is this is your hardware. This is how it's physically mapped within the, computer, uh, within the SC controller. So it's not the same as uh, when you can change that to mean anything in any program. So this is this is how you define the the actual physical controls. Anyway, uh, now let's see if the shoulder buttons are mapped. Yes, they are. They're mapped fine, so that's grand. Uh, let's check our joystick out, or because that's not working. So mapping for pressing stick. Now this doesn't have a press stick. It's not that kind of controller. It does have movement though, of course. So let's move, move the stick left and right, and then up and down. Nah, yeah, you, you'll find sometimes, although it usually settles down, yep, there we go, now we've got it, it knows all the extents of everything, now it's, it's digital, so it's, it's only on or off, so it shouldn't have too many problems, so it's calibrated my stick now, up, down, left, right, and my eight, basically my eight directions are all there, okay, so that's working now, that's fine. Uh, we also have on this uh, stick two more buttons. We've got, now, as I say, ignore these two. These are physical uh, hardware controls. We've got L2 and L3, which would normally be more buttons on something. These are not assigned to anything at the moment. So what we'll do, we will press them to see what they do, if anything. Now, I'll start with, I think I get this right, R3 shouldn't do anything. Hang on, I'll just move the mouse away from there. R3 shouldn't do anything, it doesn't. That's grand. L3, however, will come up with something. I'll show you that. It thinks that's the button for pressing the stick. So that's quite handy. That's already given us an assignment. So we'll just leave that one on. So uh, if we need to, if we need that button for something, we've got it assigned to a, a hardware control already. Now the one that's missing, as you can probably tell, is the little menu button. So that's the equivalent of the Xbox or Steam controller or whatever button in the middle. Uh, not assigned, so let's click on the actual thing. So we're going to click that, and it'll now ask us to press a button to assign to that physical control. We will press this one, and now, boom, boom, boom. So that will be our button that controls the on-screen display pop-up uh, and any other things that you want to assign to that button. We just click Save, and there we go. You'll see it's now listed on there. Uh, as one of the other controllers. So we're going to close that, and uh, now... Ah, the Steam controller's gone off. I wonder why there was only one showing up. Right, the power... This, this is... Power's timed out, so let's just bring that back up. There we go. Now you can see that's uh, that's showing up again. It's set a desktop, so... We do that, it should be okay. Yep, there we go, so we're moving with that. Let's just switch this to Xbox controller, just so it doesn't interfere with any desktop settings. And you'll see here, we now have two controllers. Now this one, uh, I did make a mistake here and had to re-record, so I've uh, I've already assigned it by accident. Uh, this is purple and arcade stick. So if you go to configure controller, 
you saw this in another video anyway, so there's nothing to nothing to worry about. Uh, you give it a name if you want and choose an icon from the list. Okay, so I chose purple so it stands out nicely at a distance from the green one, so I know which controller I'm doing things with. The things below that may or may not apply to your control uh, to your control device. In this case, they, they mostly don't, so do not you know you don't need to mess with them. Uh, we'll look at things like that when it comes up. So that is already assigned. So now I know which controller I have in my control. I really think the word control comes up too much in this. Okay, so I'm going to press what we assigned as the, as the menu button and it should pop up the uh, on-screen display. Boom, there we go. And there we go, we can now go up and down through the menu of the on-screen display. I am going to choose ZX Spectrum and press the first button. Now, you may have noticed, <laughs> you might have noticed, that we have our old friend Manic Miner uh, on the screen there, ready to go. And if you watch the last video, you see that we assigned a setup for ZX Spectrum, which assigned the keyboard controls to left and right and one of the fire buttons and pause and... Uh, I think that was it. I can't remember now. Gosh, it seems so long ago. It wasn't. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So this is our, uh, as you can see, that that changed on here when I used the the uh, on screen display to check it, change it. Now you'll see on the right hand side, there's a little edit button, and that switches between the controllers so that this section here is indicated indicating which one you're actually on. So as you can see at the moment, it's set up for the Steam controller. Okay, so I'm going to change that by clicking edit. Actually, that's that doesn't look right, does it? Boom, Steam Controller, right. So you see it swapped the two around, and that's my arcade stick. So now if I change anything on here, it'll change it on the Steam Controller profile. But we want to be controlling the joystick, so there it is. Ah, there we go, it's because it wasn't refreshed. So now it's showing us, now you can see why, why when we chose the back end, uh, that it's used that as the assignment so we can tell what we're doing physically. Obviously it's just a guideline, there's no uh, there's no reason not to use any layout you want, this is just makes it a bit easier to see what's going on. So this should, with no other uh, setting or configuring, should control Manic Miner. Okay, now I have to unpause the emulator. Ah. The joyous sounds of Manic Miner. So we should have our start. There we go. Sorry, I didn't push the button. <laughs> Brilliant. So start worked. Pause. Pause works. Now, uh, to unpause in this game, you just push a fire button or move. Brilliant. So now we have uh, control. I believe it was the circle. It was set for jump. There we go. And away we go. We have control of minor really. Okay, so uh, toggles the music on and off. Yep, that's grand. That still works. So everything works just fine. We had, didn't have to make a new profile. So if your controller is similar enough to the old one, uh, you know, as most of them are, most of them are just equivalent controls. Uh, maybe obviously the stick on this one uh, was analog, but the way that a controller registers, this registers as 100% of that axis in analog anyway. So I hope that's been of some use to you, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.